Alright, let's dive in. In this video, I'm going to show you how to whip up a quick streamlit application using Google AI Studio. Our goal, to build an NSFW image detector leveraging the awesome Falcon.ai NSFW image classification model. We use NSFW model from Hugging Face based on it being wildly popular and highly accurate while also managing to not be resource intensive. We see why it has over 80 million downloads. So, starting fresh in Google AI Studio, the first thing we need to do is craft our prompt. I'm going to tell the model, build a quick streamlit application that uses the hugging face hosted falcons.ai model by pasting in the actual URL in the prompt, so the generated code correctly uses the model to detect if an uploaded image is NSFW or normal. Add the ability to load multiple images at a time with a limit of 20. Now let's hit run and watch Google AI Studio do its magic, boom. We've got Python code generated super fast. You'll see it's using Streamlit to handle the user interface, transformers to actually use that pre-trained NSFW model from Falcon.ai and Pill or Pillow. For image processing, the code should implement some handy functions, loading the model, predicting if an image is NSFW, and setting up that simple UI where users can upload images. The user should be able to see the image and the prediction with the model's confidence level as it relates to the predicted label. All right, now I'll set up my local environment with Conda, which will let us manage all the dependencies. Then, based on the generated code, I'll install the necessary libraries, Streamlit, Transformers, and Pillow, paste the code into our Python file, save and run. Let's run the script and see our Streamlit app in action. It should be super basic, an image uploader, and then the NSFW detection. Okay, so the images failed to load, let's troubleshoot using AI Studio. Let's dive back in the AI Studio and ask for the AI to update the code to so that file path errors don't happen again. Code update and explanation. And then the AI gets asked to display the images in an appropriate format, meaning it the most recent image is displayed at the top. Final results, the AI outputs the code and successfully predicts if the image is NSFW or not. Conclusion. So there you have it. We went from a blank canvas to a working NSFW image detector using Google AI Studio and the Falcons.ai NSFW image classification model. Pretty awesome. And we did it all in under four minutes. Now go build something amazing. What can you build that leverages Falcons.ai open source models available now for free on Hugging Face?